Hi, in this screencast we're going to take a look at some of the major features of C-Line and we'll begin by looking at the project model. Now C-Line uses CMake in order to define all the content and all the settings of a particular project so C-Line takes all the information from the CMake list file. Now if you go and edit CMake list then C-Line offers code completion for common CMake actions. So for example I can type find package and notice I get the code completion window here so I can simply complete find package and type the name of the package I want to find. Now that CMake list has changed, CLine is asking us to reload the project and we can do it one of the two ways. We can either press the link for uh, reloading the changes right here or we can enable automatic reloading which will reload the CMake lists file on any change that occurs. In addition to code completion, we also get navigation options right here. So being on main.cpp, I can simply jump to definition and go into the appropriate file. Now, if I decide to add a new file, so for example, I go and I add a new class called person, you'll see that there is an option here to add this file to the targets. So after I press OK here, if we go back into CMake lists, you'll see that the hello CMake target now has person CPP and person.h. CLine's code editor is really smart and can help you out quite a bit when editing code. So for example, suppose I want to inherit human from animal. All I have to do is type public animal here. And now I can simply press Alt Enter to include the appropriate header file. And also note that animal.h has a pure virtual function, so maybe I want to implement it in human. So for that, I'll bring up the generate menu and I will choose implement functions. I'll choose the walk function, press return, and notice that I get a declaration here and a definition in the CPP file as well. Now let's suppose I will also want to make a talk function. So what I can do is I can type void talk and after I type this, CLion does a pop-up saying that there is no definition for this declaration, so I can press Alt Enter and there is a couple of options here. I can implement the function in the CPP file, I can implement the function in place, meaning having it in the header file, and I can make the function pure virtual. In this case, I'll also do an ordinary implementation and you'll notice the appropriate piece of code show up in the CPP file. Now, in addition to generating all these constructs, CLine is also very good at letting you navigate them. So for example, I can quickly jump between the declaration and the definition like so. And in the case of the walk function, what I can do is I can also jump up the hierarchy with a shortcut like so. Now let's get back into main.cpp and actually use the human class that we have. So what I'm going to do is type human h and once again there is no header here so I can press alt enter once again to get the header in place and then I can get ordinary code completion by typing h dot. But C line also comes with smart completion so let's suppose I have a string s and I want to assign the result of h dot something. Now we have too much in ordinary completion here. We have a string and the int and avoid. So what I can do is I can invoke C line smart completion. And in this case, I automatically get name because that's the only type that actually fits the type of the variable I want to assign. Finally, we know that some humans can vote. So I can type that h.name can vote like so, but you can only vote if you're of a certain age. So in C line, what you can do is you can surround this chunk of code with an if statement very easily. Simply invoke the uh, surround life template and choose the if template. And here we can check h.age against some value. Now let's take a look at some of the refactorings available in C-Line. So for example, here I have a function which solves a quadratic equation. And what I have is some repetitive code here. I have b squared minus 4ac repeated twice. So maybe I want to introduce a variable for storing the result. Now what I can do is bring up C-Line's refactoring menu and there are plenty of options here. So the one I want right now is to extract a variable. So C-Line offers me to 
other extract just a single instance of the calculation of both of the occurrences, which is exactly what I want to do. So this is the discriminant for the quadratic equation, but maybe I want to calculate it in a separate function. So in this case, I can once again select the code that I want to calculate and I can bring up the refactoring menu once again. I'll choose to extract a method this time and I'll keep the variables and all the settings as they are. I'll simply change the name to disk, short for discriminant, and after I press return, notice I get an additional function which actually calculates the discriminant and I'm now using it inside my calculate function. So one other refactoring that I want to show is rename. Basically, we're already using calculate in some other part of the code, so I can change its name and have all the usages updated. So once again, I'll bring up the refactor this menu, I'll choose rename, I'll change it from calculate to solve and press return. And you'll notice that all the usages have been updated accordingly. One of CLine's central features is its code analysis capability. Now CLine goes through your code as you edit it and offers you helpful hints and suggestions for improving code quality and correctness. So for example, let's suppose that I call the humans talk function, but I try to assign it to a string. So I type string s equals h dot talk like so. Now this is obviously an error since talk is a void returning function, but what we can do is we can press alt enter here and we can actually change the return type of the talk function to now return a string. And as after I press return, you'll see that it's been changed here and obviously in the CPP file as well. And in addition, I can generate an entire function that never existed before just by using it. So I can say, for example, h.sing. Now, obviously, sing hasn't been even defined anywhere yet. But once again, I can press Alt Enter here and I can create a new function called sing. And here I get to choose the arguments for the function. I don't have any in this case, so I'll just press return here. And you'll notice that I now have a corresponding void function in human.cpp and obviously a definition here as well. And CLine is very efficient at generating structures where they make sense. So for example, here I'm switching on an enum class. And what I can do is I can press Alt Enter and generate the missing switch statements. And also, if I get rid of one of them, for example, then I can go back and I can regenerate the missing cases once again. Finally, you'll notice some things grayed out. Like for example, this include statement up above the process function, and even the s variable that we've just declared. This is C lines analysis once again telling you that something is not being used. And finally, there is a few more features that I want to add. So first of all, C line comes with an integrated debugger. You can pause the program by putting in a breakpoint and then look at the states of the variables as the program is being executed. C line also comes with a terminal where you can type shell commands and have them executed by the operating system. CLine comes with source control integration that's common to all the IDEA platform products. So you can check things out from version control, import things into version control, and perform all sorts of other operations. And finally, I just wanted to mention that CLine comes with lots of different plugins, such as, for example, the IDEA Vim plugin, which gives you a Vim editing experience right inside CLine. So these are some of the ways in which CLine makes working with C++ programs a lot more simple and enjoyable. So to find out more, go to jabberates.com slash C line and thanks for watching.